Hey guys, doing a, another bleaching video here. This time it is a carpet anemone. So I bought this guy um, in this condition. Um, it's pretty much white. You can see a little bit of faint green there in it. Um, but it's pretty much white. Um, so when you're looking at a bleach out, if you want to buy one to correct, a um, couple things if you're looking at, a, at an enemy bleach out here. So this carpet an enemy, one, um, the mouth wasn't gaped open. Um, it looks a little open there because I just fed it, but it was not gaped open. So that, that's number one you want to look at. Number two, there was still a little a little bit of color in it. It wasn't 100% white snowball. Um, it's still a little bit of color. It doesn't mean you can't correct 100% white snowball, but a little bit of color, as you can see that faint little bit of green in it does help a bit. Um, and three, you want to make sure it's still sticky. If a carpet and enemy has lost some of its stickiness um, and isn't going to stick to things that touch it, that's not a good buy. So make sure that uh, the mouth isn't gaped open, that it's still sticky, um, and preferably a touch of color left in it. You know, completely white is still reversible, but a touch of color will help. The other thing I want to note is um, this didn't reverse quickly. So when I did the bleaching one on my um, frog spawn, it was weeks to a month that I reversed it. This took about three months, so this took months. I'm gonna go through what I fed it here um, and kind of show you the progress on it. So hang out, we got a couple of minutes here and um, see what happens with this guy. Just wanna emphasize one more time, when you're looking to buy a carpet and enemy, two big things you look for, mouth still intact, not gaping, and the anemone is still sticky. That does not mean touch it. I've been stung by a carpet and enemy before, it bubbled up like a burn. It is not good. It does not mean touch it. But you do want to make sure that it's still sticky. You can do things like snail shell, a little bit of sand on it. Um, when the person that is going to collect it um, and bag it for you starts bagging it, you can kind of tell, is it touching things? Um, I wouldn't recommend touching it with your hand, though. So this is a couple weeks in. Uh, two weeks in, it started regaining some of its color. The green started coming back in on it. Um, the anemone started to open bigger. Um, but feeding started to become a concern. It started rejecting food. Um, so I had to mix things up and try a couple other things with feeding. So normally I feed my carpet anemones raw shrimp, just that raw deveined shrimp that you get at the supermarket so just here it is uh got it at kroger i would cut little pieces and feed it uh, he rejected it he would literally roll it right off his body push it off himself um, so i switched to this pe mysis the high protein stuff i would thaw it in a cup and then i pick it up and sprinkle it on him and that he would eat so um well, I was at least getting some food in him. It was nice, high protein, um, and that helped a lot. From a dosing standpoint, you don't really want to change anything. You want your tank to be nice and stable during this time frame. I personally increased my Kent Coral Vite by one teaspoon a week in a 110-gallon tank. So that's not much. It's a minor change, but I feel it did give a little extra um, nutrients for the anemone. All right, so here we are 1.5 months in. A lot of the green is really showing on this guy. It's uh, looking a lot brighter, a lot more color coming in. You can see there's still a little bit of white on the far end tips, but a drastic improvement from where it's been. Um, a lot more color coming in. Again, it is looking bigger. It's uh, At this point, it's opening up really wide. Um, it's showing some signs of growth. It's just looking very different from the initial stage where it was really snowball white. So lots of great things moving with this guy. So here we are three months later. Um, he's been in the tank three months now. And as you can see here, uh, it is fully colored up. Um, it's very elongated. So it has grown a lot in those three months. 
Uh, the original picture was just kind of a round circle um, in the overall shape. It's very elongated and oval shaped now. Um, it has just grown a lot. So this is a top down look of it here. I'm just kind of giving you a picture, giving you a look at it from the top down. We're gonna look at it from the side here. Uh, obviously going through the glass versus down through the top of the water. There's a little bit of color variation um, just from the way the camera picks up the light. But this is, here it is looking through the glass. Um, it has that green back to it. Um, looks very nice, very healthy, and again, has grown a ton. So just a reminder of what it looked like at the start. So here it is, what it looked like at the start. Again, just kind of that round, it was like a, just a round shape. Um, it wasn't elongated like you just saw. Um, very white. It had a little bit of that green tint to it, as you can see. But again, it was a full bleach out. It, it's white, very faint green to it. Um, it took about three months. And in three months, we were here. All that color back. Um, a lot of growth, as you can see, when you compare to the size of what you just saw to what you're seeing here. Um, just very nice transformation. It is fully eating now. Um, it's back to eating the uh, raw shrimp from the grocery market. So it's eating good. Um, I don't feed my anemones that often. Uh, my bubble tip anemones hardly ever get fed. Um, I did a video talking about that. My carpet anemones, maybe every couple weeks I give them a small piece. I just, I just don't feed my anemones a lot. They get a lot of their needs from the light, from the excess uh, nutrients in the tank. Um, if you know, they'll have a little bit of that high PE mysis brine that falls on them, but I just don't feed a ton. Every couple of weeks, I'll give this guy a chunk of that raw shrimp, but just not a ton. All right, so hopefully you liked. Hopefully you like this. Uh, hopefully um, gives you some idea on how you can uh, help affect the color of the anemones in your tank. Um, I'm gonna leave you with a look at this guy under white light because it does definitely look different under white light. So I'm gonna leave you with a look of this guy under white light. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, check out some more of my content, and I'll get more out soon. Thanks, guys.